Today we're here to interview supporting actress Aubrey Rudy. So our first question today is, how did you get involved with theater? Um, well, I've been doing theater for a long time. I was in like a children's theater group when I was in uh, elementary school, middle school and stuff. So I did that for like six, seven years. And then when I got to high school, um, it was obviously different and I'd say more professional, definitely. Um, but I got more involved and more interested in that way because even though I, they were like larger shows and I guess in a way I was getting smaller roles just because I was a freshman with a bunch of high schoolers, I still think I enjoyed it more because it was more professional and I think that's where it was more like, oh, I really want to do this and spend my time doing this. So now I'm only a sophomore, but it's like my third high school production, so I'm very excited. What has been your favorite role you've played and why? Um, uh, that's really a good question. I really liked, I played Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz once, and that was really fun because I think Dorothy was a lot like me, but a lot different than me at the same time, enough to where I could differ from her, but it was also kind of classic. Like, when I say, oh, I played Dorothy, then people are like, I know that one, instead of just like, I don't know, when I say like, one time I played Gertrude in Seussical the Musical, and people are like, who's that? So I think it's fun to be able to say that you played something or been a part of something that other people will recognize and understand what you're saying. <laughs> what has been a show you've always wanted to do and why? Newsies. I love Newsies. Um, I, not just for the boys, I promise, not just for that reason, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I like Catherine Plummer. She's definitely like my dream role. Um, and I love the dancing in it, and I kind of like the way the music is. It's just, it's neat though. It's definitely my favorite. So you said that Catherine Plummer was your yeah. dream role. Uh, why is that? Um, I I don't know. I really like her. The music, I no, really, I promise. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the music, that like the songs that she sings are really, really awesome. And her character is just kind of like a, uh, I don't really want to say feminist because of the time period that the musical takes place in, but I guess in a way, just because she's like, I'm going to write this story and about the newsboys of the time period and she like dances with them and she kind of shows them up in a way and I, I like it, it'd be really fun. Our last question is, what does theater mean to you? Um, hmm, I mean, I think any form of art means a whole awful lot to me, but theater in particular because it is a performing art, um, I think it's, a de it's so much a different way to capture an audience or capture people who are fans or even just people who experience it in general. I think it's a way to, it, it's a bit of a language and I think a lot of people say that, but I would definitely agree with that. I think it's a way to connect with other people, understand other people, and um, learn sympathy and empathy on your side or to show it to somebody else. And I think that's something that the world definitely needs more of, so that's very important to me. Well, thank you for being a part of our interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs>